Baby, 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 oh. Actually, that was kind of hard. No, I'm joking. This is why I don't listen to anything when I'm in the gym. Now, music is very widespread these days. If you don't listen to music when you're walking or in the gym, people think you're crazy. I saw a TikTok where it was like psychopath things, like some guy with no headphones in at the gym, genuinely. Music is so widespread that we have just accepted that that is our default state of being, that it's normal to always be listening to music. But why is that a problem, especially in certain situations like the gym? Because naturally, human beings evolved where they had the sense of hearing it added something to our life that's why we have it so when you're listening to something be it music or podcast you're pulling your focus away from the task at hand and focusing it on what you're listening to because our brain works on pattern recognition our brain will listen to that music pattern and it will get distracted and so whatever you're actually doing the task at hand is not being focused enough and i know people say oh music helps me focus more maybe so but have you tried doing it without music i guarantee you can focus more in the long run why don't i listen to music in the gym i saw a documentary a long time ago and it was called pumping iron by arnold schwarzenegger and this guy he was saying that you have to develop a mind muscle connection with the muscle the way you do that is by thinking, connecting your brain to the muscle. So let's say I'm doing bicep curls. As I'm tensing, I'll be looking at the muscle. I'll be thinking about the muscle. And what this does is that it focuses you on the moment. Your brain will put all its resources into building said muscle. Now, if I were doing the same bicep curl, the gym is playing Justin Bieber. You know what the gym music is like, it's trash. And it's like, baby, 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 oh. Actually, that was kind of hard. No, I'm joking. It would put me off. It would put me off. Like I wouldn't be able to focus on my muscles or on whatever I'm doing. I'm just thinking about my sweetheart. What's she doing right now? I hope she's okay. Does she miss me? That's natural because your brain will think pattern. Oh, he's listening to a love song. That means he must be in love. That means there's someone that he loves. Let's think about this girl. Let's think about this boy. That is what people don't understand. Whatever you put in has a butterfly effect on whatever comes out. We just think if we put it in, it'll just be there for a bit and then nothing happens. No, everything that goes into your brain comes out and it manifests in very different ways. Sometimes in your actions, you'll watch a violent movie and you'll get violent. Sometimes it's in what you say, how everyone in the UK talks like they're from London, even though they're not. That is how our brains work. By putting music into your head while doing other things, you're pulling your focus away from that action and you're focusing it where it shouldn't be focused which means that you're worse off doing that action than you were before if you don't listen to music in the gym what do you listen to let me tell you let me tell you what you listen to i wrote this poem <coughs> i don't listen to anything in the gym i hear a cacophony of sounds my harsh breathing animalistic grunts plates clanging together weights dropping with a bang the screech of adjusted benches the loud thud when someone passes out okay you get the message what i'm trying to say is that when you're in the gym environment you have this certain ambience ambience that adds to the whole vibe of it you can always work out at home you can just do some push-ups pull-ups and sit-ups like you can get a good body from working out at home look at all the calisthenics guys they just go to parks and do muscle-ups and they're ripped so why go to the gym at all it's because of the culture when you are around a certain place you are influenced by that place in more ways than one not only are you seeing other people working out being inspired by how they look but you are also smelling sweat and that stimulates your brain to go into adrenaline mode you are also hearing the sounds and when you hear the sounds of the gym your brain your body it knows where it is it knows what it has to do the process of muscle and strength building starts as soon as you enter because your brain is primed it's like con Conditioning. When Pavlov, a psychologist from Europe, found the law of conditioning, Pavlov did an experiment. He had some dogs and he found when he rang the bell and then brought them their food, they would start salivating because they were hungry. And then when they adjusted to that schedule, he very simply removed the food but rang the bell. And the dogs associated the bell with the food and they started salivating. Does a bell make you hungry? 
No, but because of the association, it does. So when you're in the gym and you're hearing the sounds of the gym, your brain automatically goes into muscle building time, strength time. This is the time for me to build myself and build up my body. So your brain will automatically start the process of muscle building. And that is why you shouldn't listen to anything in the gym except the natural cacophony of gym sounds is this backed by science i mean kind of it's not like 100 percent, but i can tell you from my personal experience and other people i've spoken to that is how they felt let me know how it feels for you the final thing i want to cover some people say that they can't they can't go to the gym without listening to music to that i say you probably can't right now you almost definitely can't right now when you're used to something it's very easy to associate that comfortable usage with with the truth and it's very easy to think that you can't do a without b just because you've always done a with b and the only way that i quit listening to music in the gym is in ramadan which is the holy month of fasting i just didn't listen to music in ramadan when i didn't listen to music for a whole month i found that i didn't need to listen to music at all actually but even in the gym all i really needed was the mindset of i have to go to the gym and improve my myself and that realization was amazing it made me think like what else do we rely on so heavily that actually isn't even that important to us in the grand scheme of things and that's just my two cents it'll take a while to quit it the best way to do it is just to go cold turkey you might have a few bad workouts just take a lot of caffeine and you'll be fine this is not medical advice don't sue me and that's that if you like this sort of content don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already my name is Nuruddin and i will see you later